G'day, uh, Scott from CHI here. I think I've probably spoken to a lot of you guys on the phone, but you've probably never seen me before. Um, I'm just gonna make a few videos on some of the problems that we see customers having here at CHI. And one of the biggest problems that we see is people um, who don't work out the whole engine build before they buy pistons. So we had a customer today who's building a 408 cubic inch engine with a flat top piston and they've bought flat top pistons and they've built their whole short motor. And now they're asking us to make a custom made head with a really big combustion chamber. Um, it's a road car and they want to get their compression down. So what I want to explain is, is, is what the, the flow on effect of that is and uh, how it's detrimental to the performance of the engine. So how important your piston selection is that it works with the cylinder head that you want to use. Okay, so here um, we have two of the same head, which is our 208cc 3B heads. Um, one is a 60cc chamber, which is one of our standard chambers. The other one's a 67. You can see with the 67, the chamber's laid back. That's because we're trying to keep the valve position the same. So your valve drop stays the same. So when we create a bigger chamber, we don't push it further into the head we uh, keep the valve where it is and that keeps the length in the short turn, it keeps the valve drop the same, so standard pistons work and so on. When you really want a lot more performance, we use a small chamber head, um, like this 45cc. And what you can see with that is it has a zero valve drop. So as soon as you've opened the valve, you've cleared the deck. So once again, if we're doing a small chamber head, we don't surface the cylinder head down to get a small chamber. The chamber is lifted out of the cylinder head, if you like, which is increases the length of the short turn. And naturally it also reduces valve shrouding. Um, as soon as the valve's opened, you've cleared the deck. So there's significant performance gains in a smaller chamber. Going back to the street stuff, when you people come in and order a custom large chamber, we, we end up having to push that chamber deeper into the cylinder head. So you end up losing short turn and you also takes a lot more valve lift before you clear the deck. So it's, it's extremely detrimental. Anyway, in the next couple of videos, we're gonna show you why and we'll flow test some heads and you can see the significant gains from keeping the short turn long and the, the valve drop as low as possible. I mean, on something like this, which is a 420 CFM head, you may lose 30, 40 CFM of airflow by going to a bigger chamber. Um, it's the same port, same everything. All we've done is push the chamber deeper into the head and that's the effect. So anyway, we'll get to that in the next couple of weeks. Uh, if anyone's got anything specific they'd like to know, um, just ask a question in the comment and we'll try and you know, answer it if we can. But yeah, uh, the other question, if you're thinking about building a motor and you're thinking about using our parts, we're more than happy to answer your questions well before you go ahead with your project so you can get your build right from the start. All right, thanks a lot.